Uh, Bill Forty. What do you remember about Bill Forty? Bill Forty was unique. Uh, Louise Baudouin had decided that uh, she's going to pass a law that allows the government inspectors to come into your place of work, even if it's a home operation, and go through your personal files, your corporate files, go through your desk drawers, go to your hard drives and your computers and your floppy drives and your computers and see if you have any illegal English. And when I heard this, I said, what? These people are nuts. They're absolutely insane. So they decided to have hearings. Hearings are always good because, you know, with hearings you can pay off a whole bunch of political flunkies and you can, uh, you can get anything across because you ask for the stars and you settle for the sun or the moon. But even the sun and the moon are very are much too high. Bill Forty was uh, an an obscenity. It, this this was like going back to, to to fascism or communism that the state would have the right without and and it was between the hours of 7 a.m. and 7 p.m. and they had the right without calling you in advance that they're coming, so they can search what your desk if you had illegal English. So they had these hearings and Louise Baudouin invited me, come to the hearings. I said, there's no way I'm coming to the hearings. She can drop dead 25 times before I would come to the hearings. What am I going to come to the hearings for? To discuss and debate what? To what degree I'm equal? To what degree uh, I, I should be visible? Whether or not I'm allowed to have English language uh, contracts or, 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 or product descriptions in my office or on my computer? And I refused to go. I wouldn't go. And here's Alliance Quebec, the voice of the Anglos, going running down there to make a presentation so they can look good, they can sound good, they can feel important. They were all there. I couldn't believe it. QPAC, the Quebec Political Action Committee, our group, was the only group that said, forget it. It's not going to happen. Not now, not tomorrow, not ever. It's not going to happen. We had a rally just before the Bill 40 hearings at the Holiday in Point Claire. There were so many people that the room was filled to capacity. There was well over a thousand people in the room. And then in the outer rooms of, the, of their grand ballroom, it was filled to capacity. And it fell out into the parking lot as well. And people, when I said, forget it, and I took this piece of paper, a letter that I get, sent to Louise Baudouin, telling her what she can do with her Bill 40, and I threw it into the audience. People just exploded in pleasure. This is what we gave them. 